okay so how to replace batteries for your power bulb I already replaced them like a few minutes ago and I've tried to see if it works and it works so as you see the batteries are over here uh, the power bulb is using RG4 batteries and uh, I'm gonna show you how exactly to replace them this won't be easy by the way and you need to proper screwdrive I don't have one but uh, this one does the job if you don't care much about your power ball you can try if you care and you, you can you usually just use it uh, without the um, the how it's it called to record the to track the your performance you can just uh, avoid uh, trying this because uh, you might break something here so this is not easy but I'll show you exactly how it's done so uh, I need to put this these two screws that goes here I, I just didn't put them because I wanted to to show you exactly how you how you can open the power ball and this uh, I'll have to hit it so first just remove this band you can put it back in very easily and as you notice there are two screws here one here and one here just take the screwdriver take them off and put them somewhere safe so in order to to open the power ball these two parts need to put uh, the power ball like here and hit it uh, don't worry it won't break so let's try well one more time okay this one this time it worked so these are the two parts by the way you can also clean your power ball if it has dirt inside and as you notice now there are a few screws here six in total and they look like this so gonna try to unscrew them and I'll show you exactly what's inside here be very careful not to lose the screws because they are very small And turn it around and everything will just come uh, just one more don't worry if this happens you can just put uh, everything back in so by default you will have your screen here and this uh, small rubber band if it comes off just put it back in like here now this is the circuit part these are the buttons and these are the batteries the black circles the batteries uh, need to be put in the right order and that is plus should go like this and minus like this but first you need to put the buttons insert them here and press them a bit with the screwdriver also this one be sure to arrange to arrange the the rubber band 
okay so as I said if you turn this around it should go like just make sure that the the buttons don't uh, come off as I said this uh, process it's not easy at all and you need a lot a lot of patience so this one goes here this one goes the other way so take the first one put it like this and this one uh, this one like this so it should look like this right now if you put the mechanism back in you won't be able to put the, the screws back so we need to put the screws first inside the mechanism and you need to be very careful not to lose them I don't see I have five I think there should be six no three yeah one is missing one is missing right so I've lost one but it doesn't matter that much it's not here it's not here either just gonna close the video and try to find the, the other one and then start it again okay so no idea where the uh, sixth screw went so I'll just keep going like this and try to put just five in I don't think it will matter that much so put the screen back put the rubber and the left button and now carefully place this down and put the I guess I need to put the batteries also first as I said they go in like this so plus uh, like this this one like this okay so we're good for now now turn the mechanism with the back up and put the the screws inside Be very careful not to drop them. Okay, so one also went in the middle here, but uh, since I don't see it anywhere, we'll just go without it. And now we need to carefully place it right in the center like this with the first screw at the top this won't be e easy at all because uh, they will try to move around so you need to be patient here until you get the right position when you get the right position all the screws will just uh, move a bit up like they are on position and at that point you can try to screw them in no this is not right
if you don't get the right position don't try to screw the don't try don't try to put the screws in rather just get the mechanism up and try again and I see this one is not staying right No, nah, no, nah. it's a bit to the left. position but we see that it doesn't I think I have it now because the some of the screws came up meaning so just gently try to screw them point my my fingers hurt a bit so even though I don't like that they uh, they don't go really straight in they are a bit turned on this side so I guess this wasn't actually the, the best position, the perfect position. Yes, I have to to remove it and try again because the the buttons I can't press them. looks fine but mm -hmm. okay let's try again first try I 
guess I'm getting good at this. Looks good and I see that I can also press the, the buttons and you see we see a zero here and with this button we can select more options I notice if I keep a, a long press on the left button it displays the the number of rotations I'll just have to put everything back in and uh, see exactly so I'm gonna tighten a bit the screws and we're good to go Okay, so it looks good right now. Uh, just need to put this in. I don't think it matters uh, if I need to align it or not with anything here. And I'm also not sure if it has to be on this side or the other What matters is that this uh, white plastic should go like this and not not like this or okay so let's try well it sounds good so put it like this right now we need to press it really hard So we see some values here. Okay, the final part is to put the two screws on the side back in. Now this should be easy. And the second one. and the uh, rubber band Mm 
and I'll just give it a try. get the values here just press do like a long press on the left button and you'll see the number of rotation and so on okay so I guess this is how you change the batteries for your power ball and you also open it you clean it just be very careful with it